everybody, I'm Emily with Paint Couture and I'm going to talk about iFlex today. These are wood compositions that become flexible after you heat them up. They come in a range of designs, sizes, and patterns and they're really cool. They can really make your project just stand out and they're super, super easy to use. Not only can they be painted, stained, varnished, sanded, and drilled, but you can also adhere them to about any surface, such as glass, MDF, plastic, wood, and much more. So I can honestly say that this product is really great and I really love working with it and it just adds so much to any project that you want to do. So today I am going to show you how to use these iFlex wood products on a little journal cover. Here I have the Steampunk Squid Diver Guy, and as you can see, it is not flush to the front of this cover. It moves and it would be really hard to glue it as it is. So let's show you how we can get this nice and flat to the cover. Since this is a larger wood composition, I am going to use my heat gun here, and I'm going to turn this mold around, and I am going to heat the bottom of this molding first. So you do need a heat source, whether that's a hair dryer that you have on the hot setting or a heat gun, which I honestly prefer to use. You do need to be able to heat it up. And you are using a heat source, so do be careful that you don't burn yourself. So keep your fingers away from the tip of the hair dryer or heat gun. So after heating these up for a while, let me show you what happens. See how you can bend this now? You can bend all the little parts of this molding. Well, I am going to kind of squish it down to my journal cover. And once you turn it to the side, you will notice that there isn't that gap that there was in the beginning of the video. It is now flush because we heated it up and now it can adhere nice and flat to the cover. Your next step is to use a good glue and I like to use the Type Bond Quick and Thick, but you can also use a really nice wood glue. So I'm just going to paint on the glue to the back of this surface and then I'm going to just glue it right down to the cover. These moldings are definitely sturdy so if you need to press down to get the gaps to close you can go ahead and do that. Even after your molding is glued you can still heat it up and bend it to get rid of any gaps. So that's really great. So if you're working and you're applying a molding on something, one of these iFlex moldings, and you need to bend it a little more, you can still do it as you're working on your project. So now that I have it heated up again, I am going to press down around my squid steampunk mold here, and I'm really gonna get it nice and flat to the cover. If you have glue that seeps out from the edges, that's okay. Just wipe it off and then that's it. You're good to go. I wanna show you another cool aspect of how iFlex can bend. And I'm gonna show you on these little tiny moldings here. So with these little ones, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue the back of it first instead of heating it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the back of this coral piece and I'm going to stick it down. And then I'm going to glue the back of this little starfish and I'm going to overlap the starfish onto the coral. Now that I have the glue onto these two little pieces, I'm going to take my heat gun and heat these up. And since they're so small, it doesn't take much heat or much time to get these to bend. So after using my heat gun to heat it up, they are bendable and I just want to show you on these two little pieces how you can really get the starfish to go over the coral and how you can really get it to bend onto the journal cover. So these pieces are so versatile. You can really, really bend them if you need to. So let me give you a closer look and you can see that little starfish is onto the coral and the journal and it has a nice bend to it. I went ahead and I just added more pieces onto this cover 
and here it is before it is painted or anything so here are the iflex wood compositions on a journal now that i have my iflex wood compositions on i'm going to talk about crust crust is a rough acrylic plaster and you can use it to add texture or give a project a worn look I am putting a paper towel under my cover because I don't want crust to get on the pages. Right now crust comes in a 16 ounce container and this is what it looks like. It's a very rough plaster looking product. There's many ways you can apply crust but I'm going to use a old chip brush to get even more texture out of my crust. But I also like to use a chip brush because I'm going to dab crust a lot and dabbing can wear out your nice brushes. So I like to use a really cheap brush for this. So here I am just lightly dabbing the corners of my journal because I'm going for an underwater steampunk vibe and I just think of texture. So crust is the perfect way to get that. Now I'm going to take a big glob of crust with my chip brush because I want the bottom corner of my journal to be really textured. And just remember the heavier you lay on crust in a certain area, the longer it does take to dry. So I'm just going to keep continuing to dab crust onto this journal. I'm going to do the front and I'm going to do the back. Okay, so I let my journal cover sit out for a couple hours and now my crust is dry. Look at all this beautiful texture it created. It looks so great. I'm so happy with this. I love this stuff. To see the finished journal, go to the description and click the link to watch part two. Thank you for watching.